All right, guys, what is up? It is the first video in a long time. Um, I was trying to do a bow hunting video, but that didn't quite work out. Plus, I didn't see anything, so um, it definitely didn't work out. And uh, I've, I've been doing quite a bit of hunting lately and quite a bit of dialing in guns. We got two different rounds for the 223 right there, which is that little baby girl right there. She's <laughs> She's my special gun. And then we got this gun, which is the gun we're using tomorrow. My dad's 25 out of 6. Um, I got a specific deer we're going after. Um, and now that I know how this gun shoots, I did some shooting, dialed it in on paper. Well, I didn't, I didn't really mess with anything. I just needed to know how high the round was going. Because this gun sighted in for like two, 300 yards. And the deer we shot at was at like 80. So the first time I shot at him, I went right over his back. But we've got a massive eight point out here um, that I'm really just, really just, really want to take. I don't know how many more times I can say really, but I really want to take this eight point. Um, like I said, last time uh, it was me and my dad out in the field that day, and I almost got him. Um, both shots went high right over his back. That's partially my fault, and I mean... I. I was the one holding the gun, so I could have second-guessed the information I was given, but just the way it went makes me really mad, so I've got some redemption. I'm taking this gun out tomorrow morning. Um, that gun, I'm probably going to try to use it to kill a doe with this year, and I really want to get a doe or the small six-point we got coming around. If I could take the eight-point, um, say I don't see anything... Um, tomorrow morning i might go stand or might go get up in my stand tonight with my bow or not tonight but tomorrow night it's already dark now um and see if we can't get a doe or something to walk in um and just take a deer with that and call it good after that i'm gonna detune this bow and put her up she is quite old and i just i want to get one deer with her and i want to put her up her her strings looking real rough and I want to get a different bow, so I do want to kill a deer with this bow, and I want to have this bow around, but I don't. <clears throat> um, I'm probably not going to kill one after I kill kill the next or the deer that I plan to kill with this. You guys get what I'm saying. Yeah, that that one's getting hung up after she kills her first deer. Um, but yeah, we've got. This gun is sighted in. She's a little low, like an inch at 100, but I'm pretty sure I ironed out that problem today. And then we've got, I'm testing these Nosler Ballistic Tips Vermin and these Nosler Verminators on, with two different powders too. The Ballistic Tips I'm staying with, I started with the Varget powder. So I'm staying with a bar Varget, but or Hodgdon's Varget, just so you guys know. Um, and with these ones, I went to Hodgdon's Benchmark. And so, I mean, they shoot really close to the same. And powders right now, I've only got them probably a grand and a half off of each other. This one will probably come up. And this one, I don't know where it's going to go. I've got to shoot, got to shoot these next five tomorrow. Definitely not going to happen tonight. But, uh... Right now what I'm doing, I just got those pressed. I've just been chilling around here, taking a day to relax. It was Friday when I took the shot at that eight point. Um, Saturday now, so it'll be Sunday tomorrow. It was raining all day. I went out this morning, but it was like maybe high 30 degrees and just pouring down rain on me. So left the field early. I didn't figure anything was going to move if it was... If anything was smart, it wasn't moving. Um, yeah, also, we've got cows now. Um, this is our second batch of cows. He's just about as big as a cow. She's my favorite little dog, him and her. And they're, they're my two. They're my dogs. I got another dog around here somewhere, too, browning, but I don't know where he's at. But, oh, them two's. Oh, yes, Jen. But they're probably hungry. They get fed in about 
45 minutes to an hour so um you can see they'll suck suck on your finger and then they'll get mad and try to buck it so i wouldn't recommend doing this for too long because i probably will try to break your finger after after they realize that there's nothing there and this one's sick that's why it's kind of separated off but he's been doing better just even just even in the second half of the day i hear you i know i didn't give you any lovings come here hi big guy hey hi oh you all types of excited you all types of excited yeah yeah you trying to eat my sweatshirt um i gotta get deer corn out of this truck right here and i'm gonna put it in the back of the big 10 i'm gonna get the big 10 fired up i want you guys to hear this y'all ain't heard the big 10 like this before she is mint sounds like an airplane motor starting off i mean sounds i hear you yeah that's what i thought i don't know if you guys heard that but he was like meh meh <laughs> all right gotta get this thing started up she don't like to drive when she's cold I accidentally ended the video probably should turn flash on too um and the keys i'm not gonna use choke i want to start it just like this see how it starts it might just kick right over i had it on not that long ago yeah it starts right up sounds a whole lot louder what had happened was is i was riding around in the backfield and uh Oh, I hit a pothole or a bump or something and knocked the exhaust off down off the hangers and I was able to just pull it back and off the uh, the Y pipe yeah, it's after the Y pipe it's about cut off right there I didn't cut it off it just slid off kind of hard to explain I could slide it back on right now if I wanted to but I don't um, I'm gonna grab that corn throw it in the back of the truck and I'm gonna let the truck heat up for just a minute and I'll take you guys back there and uh, we'll go spread some corn. Hopefully I can get them, get that eight point in tomorrow morning. Man, I'm so psyched over that. Oh yeah, also it rained all day today, like hard. Thank goodness it stopped now. So I hope this thing ain't wet. Okay, I'm gonna need two hands for this. I'll be back in just a minute. Okay guys, so, um, it's obviously Sunday morning. I've already got the 25 out of 6 loaded. I'm going to go sit out there. Um, I'm not going to be using the light or anything to walk out there. So I'm probably not going to be able to film it. Um, once the once the sun goes over, comes over the horizon, hopefully the deer are out in the field, I'll start filming again. Um, if not, then I don't know, I'll probably start filming again. And uh, if they come in, I'll probably get a couple of shots of them before they cross the fence line. After they cross the fence line, um, I'm I'm all on the rifle from there. Um, probably won't film much after that until I've got a deer on the ground. So uh, I guess I will see you guys mm, first light. Peace. My gloves aren't working to touch this phone, so I gotta do everything with my nose. Alright guys, it's about 7.40 something right now. We got a guy up in that stand. I've heard two gunshots come from that way. I don't know if you guys can hear me right now over that plane, but I'm talking. Usually the deer come in underneath that feeder, and then they walk up by his stand and then cross. But, uh, early, early this morning, probably 5 o'clock, now 5.30, 5.45, I had a doe walk right between me and that tree right there, probably right where my finger was, and, uh, I, I don't know if it was a doe or if it was a yelp, but I seen it, and, uh, I had a skunk walk right out this way, probably here about 8, I'm gonna walk in back that way see if I can't stock up on something. I'm not seeing anything out here. And I heard those two gunshots from that direction, so maybe something spooked up into my yard. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I think one of the shots came from him, but I'm not sure. And I haven't seen him. He's not gotten down or done anything yet. He's been looking around pretty hard. So, I don't know. There's a hawk right there. Yeah, this is literally 
just a hawk just chilling right there. Maybe that's a buzzard. just long enough for me to get the bipod set and uh because all this is here it took me a second and then uh trying to line up the shot she put her head down lifted her head back up and started trotting again and uh i didn't even get to take a shot out at her but that's all right he's still up here i don't know if y'all could even see him even if i oh that's brightness zoom in right now. No, I don't think that's going to work. Nope. Definitely not going to work. Anyhow. Um, he's sitting up in this stand. I tried waving to him so that he knows I'm here. I'm pretty sure he sees the phone. But, uh, I'm going to walk back in that way. Probably here in about five minutes. And, uh, See if I can't see nothing down that way. If I can't, then I'll just head right back up to the house and film an outro for you guys. So, I'll see you guys then. Peace. Also, this camo is pretty, pretty good for where I am right now. I don't even think he knew I was here before I waved to him. I've seen him looking out this way, but I've never seen him look right at me. So, yeah. Alright, I'll see you guys here in a minute. Well, guys, um... I wasn't even gonna film this. Me and my little sister just got out here in the field. Um, this little, he's a little six point spike, but he come walking up across the right here. And I had, I had two shots off at him and he just stayed right in here. Um, I don't know what's up with that fucking 25 out of six. It's garbage. If it was a 223, I'd have laid him down first shot. But, uh, I told her right exactly where she was at and she, with the with the 30 out of 6 she just laid him right down I'm talking she hit him prior right here he ran up and around did a circle came back right to where she shot him and laid down so perfect clean shoulder shot just the way you want it good job good job so we're gonna get him gutted out um, can't show that on YouTube but um yeah i guess i will see you guys in the next video that's crazy into an outro i don't even have my phone my phone's on the charger in the house i'm filming this off her phone so she's gonna have to send me this clip but i'll see you guys peace